So yeah, Roma Spider, and I'm looking for a daily. I was looking at Roma's, and this is just announced. So uh, the universe. Um, so if I was to get a Roma Spider, I wouldn't get it in this spec. Oh, what kind of color is it? Is this gray? I can't tell. I wouldn't get it in this spec, so I'm going to try and run through something now. As always, first things first, Roma color. Um, the last time I was thinking black Roma. I still think black is a very sexy color for Roma, although people said it does look a bit. Um, basic and boring. So I might try and switch it up to make this up as I go along. Jeez, I haven't, I haven't paid with this spec yet, so I need to hope that it turns out good. Exhaust system, as always, black. I'm getting deja vu from when I did the, the Roma Coupe. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think for the convertible, just black would be fine. Um, I'll put the stitching in another color. So let me try a light stitching, like white stitching. Yeah, I'll check it out today and I'll keep you guys updated with another video, maybe this evening. Another banger. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the rest of the song. Damn, in the ghetto, that's what I remember. But good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on where you're joining us from. We are making our way down in, obviously, British springtime to uh, Ferrari in Swindon, where the search for my SF90 continues. And as well, the Roma, Roma ro romp <laughs> begins. Uh, I'm checking out a Roma today. Uh, the SF90, story is there it's progressing uh, I found a car it's a, it's coming I just have a few more things to decide on but yeah other than that we're gonna check out some Romas my friend's gonna head down look at a 4A8 Pista his mum wants a 296 GTB and then another friend of mine is looking at a Pista as well so we'll be joined by a few of the Hunter family my car group uh, so it should be quite interesting I was gonna take the Ferrari 812 today but as you can see in this wonderful weather we have it probably would have been a health hazard. So I uh, decided to be sensible and take the Cayenne Turbo GT, stranding my wife at home alone without a car. But um, we begin our journey and uh, I'll keep you updated. Up, 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 up. <laughs> I'll keep you up to date as we proceed. And if anything interesting happens, let's go. Ah, M25 traffic, how I missed you. Oh, and also another fun fact, when you see that camera there on the side of the road, that means there's a speed camera coming up, which there is one right here on the left. So if you uh, go through here, five and 40 miles an hour, you will get a ticket, which is very annoying. I got a ticket once because I was doing like two miles an hour over the um, allowed speed limit. That was a while ago. I'm a good person now, I don't speed anymore. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> Ish is going to test drive a 296 and I am going to check out a Roma. I brought the baby seat with me to see if it fits in the back of Roma. So I brought a baby seat to see if it fits in the back of Roma. And then, um, yeah, do some SF90 stuff because I've got some SF90 stuff to do. So Does, does this mean a Roma is on the card as well? Yeah, of course a Roma is on the card. <laughs> the Spider? Uh, I don't know. If they had one here, then I'll be able to give a conclusive answer. But I'm just going to check the regular one for now. Yeah, this one's really loud. No. That just looks so cool, doesn't it? This is a Seto Fiorano, man. I can't get a Seto Fiorano. So what does a Seto Fiorano mean? So the Seto Fiorano pack on the SF90 adds the stripe. It changes the suspension so you don't get the magnetic active suspension thing. You don't get front yeah. nose lift. Yeah. And then you also get this lip here. That's cool. Yeah. But I don't know about not front nose Yeah, no, there's a front, <laughs> front nose lift. That's good. That, that's, well, I can't do that, man, especially nah. with my drive. I really need front nose lift. What's that? Is that it? That's the camera, isn't it? Yeah, at the bottom. It's a bit bulky. Hello. Hello I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> I like it. I feel like it looks really aggressive from the back. <laughs> um, yeah, so SF90. This is a set of Fiorano pack. Everything's perfect about it, but the lack of front nose lift and magnetic sus active suspension dampers is troubling. So in my Ferrari 812, I can put the road, um, the dampers into bumpy road mode, which absorbs the shocks. In here, it's just track mode all the time, which I can't really do. Like I'm committed now. That's if if she's in the driving seat, though. <laughs> 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 but shall, shall I sit in front? Can you get in? I, get don't, in? I don't know if I could get in. Can you get in? Yeah. Comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this, I feel like. No, bro, your, knee, your knee is where my shoulder is. 
Bruh. It's Newton's way much. <laughs> this is. I mean, it could be worse though. You, no. reckon? you could definitely fit a child back Do you here. reckon you can do the journey we just did from your house no to way. here no in way. there? You feel, because if you, if, and do you know what, if you're in an accident, you'll just be like, you'll feel like you're going to cluster. Yeah. How do you get out of this? What if there's an emergency? You need to have make an emergency exit. Seeing if an isofix seat will fit in a Roma with me driving in front. Uh, until I get the daily, it'll be a family car. So hopefully it will. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. I'm not an isofix expert yet, so ignore me if it looks like a disaster. There we go. Jesus Christ. There's not a lot of space, but one thing about isofix seats is once you have it in, it's in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that means the person sitting in. No. That's not practical at all, is it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the base is in, but you've got like this much leg space at the front. Gosh, I never think something could be that's so... That's got to be flipped out towards the front of the car. It has to be. Yeah, that's... And not with that base. Yeah, that is oh, isn't it? It's strapped the car seat to the roof. It's in, but it's like... <laughs> like the space is a bit sketch. The front seat's just not forward enough. Well, it's compatible. It's just the person in front will have to have no legs. The room is nice though, man. Gosh, that was quite difficult, you know. <laughs> just that's quite heavy. Imagine, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this here so I don't have to think about it. <laughs>